<laughs> the use of pigeon in local comedy has always been quite popular over the years, but recognition of pigeon on a national scale never really occurred until the release of this book, Pigeon to the Max, thanks to the talents of Doug Simonson. For the first time, the entire country got to see on ABC News and in Newsweek a story about this entertaining pigeon dictionary. <laughs> My friends think I'm crazy, I like to do stuff like this. But you know me, I just cannot help. Anyways, I just like trying new stuff. So, <laughs> so this is what I went to. I went to take one pineapple and one guava and I went into burrito. <laughs> and this one came out, yeah? I call it the pine guava. Too good, huh? yeah. Pigeon not only became understandable to outsiders, it even captured the imagination of the White House. You know, Nancy and I have spent many a night in the Oval Office laughing like a couple of low lows, reading about mokes and pukas and uh, uh, butter heads. Hey, bye, you going to stay, stay? Pigeon to the max, gonna stay go, gonna stay come back. Bye bye. <laughs>